Hi, in this video today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you and I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. People with sickle cell trait uh, and here is the five answers to choose from. Answer A, uh, heterozygous for the sickle cell allele. Answer B, are usually healthy. C, have increased resistance to malaria. And D, produce normal and abnormal hemoglobin. And uh, answer E, all of the above. And the correct answer would be E. And actually there is nothing much to add because you already got a brief description of the sickle cell. Um, anemia or uh, anemia it is when both alleles are recessive for the sickle cell trait and uh, heterozygous form is uh, superior to both homozygous dominant and uh, recessive because this provides uh, resistance to deadly disease in Central Africa that is malaria. So now we can move to the second question. When a disease is said to have a multifactorial basis, it means that uh, answer A, many factors, both genetic and environmental, contribute to the disease. Answer B, it is caused by gene with large number of alleles. Answer C, it affects a large number of people. D, it has many different symptoms. And answer E, it tends to skip a generation. And let me start with uh, the end of this list of answers. So, uh, tends to, to skip a generation, usually uh, we can uh, find when uh, we deal with simple Mendelian genetics, one uh, allele is dominant, another one is recessive. And when we have two homozygous parents, when we cross them in the uh, first F1 generation, uh, we would uh, see only one trait of one of the parents with dominant uh, phenotype, uh, homozygous dominant. And in F2 generation, we may see reappearance of the uh, recessive trait. So uh, this is not correct answer. And answer D, it has many different symptoms. And this is too broad because many um, disorders and uh, disease has many uh, symptoms, usually not one, but uh, the whole list. And uh, so this is too broad answer. Answer C, it affects a large number of people. I would uh, say this is also too broad answer because it can be applied to almost any uh, disease or disorder. Answer B, it is caused by a gene with a large number of alleles. And um, there are some diseases uh, where uh, not only one allele can cause a genetic disorder, but um, consider that allele is just a variant of the uh, gene. So any mutation to the gene uh, we can consider as a new allele. So uh, disruption of the function of the um, gene can be caused by um, mutations in the different places of that gene. So if the uh, structure of the protein would be changed, this also might lead to the change uh, of the function of this uh, uh, protein but uh, this doesn't answer our question and uh, best suited answer would be answer A. Many factors, both uh, genetic and environmental, can contribute to the disease. And this is correct answer. And we call such uh, disease multifactorial based because many genes can be involved and also there is influence of the environmental factors and uh, this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video uh, please write your comments if you have any 
suggest uh, any new videos that you're probably interested in. Goodbye.